Alright guys, so it looks like maybe 21 Pilots leaked a song called Levitate from the Trench album on the Tidal streaming service and then it blew up on Twitter. I saw it and so now I'm going to explain it to you. Keep in mind these lyrics aren't perfect, we don't have the context of the album to completely know what this song is about, but we're going to give it our best shot. I'll have the lyrics down below, you can follow along if you want, and we'll figure this out. Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Stummy, the Pop Song Professor, and welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by explaining and sometimes roasting song lyrics on weekdays. Today we are talking about 21 Pilots' new song, Levitate, leaked from their album Trench. Now, it is very, like 99% sure it is from the album and that it is not a fake song. The themes and the ideas, some of the references, things we'll be talking about, very much make it sound like it's coming from Tyler. Of course, things change, and so it's not a 100% you know, match to anything from Vessel or Blurry Face, but it, it, it does seem to be something like what Tyler would write lyric-wise and theme-wise. Uh, the sound fits with the other songs from Dima. The beginning of the song follows nicely from the end of Jumpsuit. So there's a lot of things going for it, and apparently it did come from title and so that should make it pretty trustworthy also we we don't have they haven't released a, a surefire copy of the lyrics and sometimes Tyler's voice gets obscured so there's a couple of lines that I couldn't make out and that other lyrics websites couldn't make out either so I'm working with the best that I could come up with and find from those other sites that being said though let's not introduce this anymore let's actually talk about this song um, so we've got verse 1 which I think is actually the pre-chorus. Oh, I know how to levitate up off my feet, and ever since seventh grade, I've learned to fire breathe. And though I feed on things that fail, you can learn to levitate with just a little help, learn to levitate with just a little help. And here I think, based on the context of the rest of the song, because the song is one of those songs that's about songwriting, something that I predicted when I talked about, you know, 20 or so things that would be on the Trench album. Um, and that's that he often will have a song about the self-referential of the fact that it is a song and that he writes songs. Kitchen Sink is like that, Lane Boy is like that, Addict with a Pen is like that. So there's a lot of different ones. And Levitate seems to be one of the songs from Trench that's going to do that. So uh, I think levitating refers to performing, to um, sharing your lyrics, saying things to other people, singing. Um, though I don't have that completely assured yet, but we'll see. Uh, and then the fire breathe, I think, has to do with him learning to, to write poetry. He was in high school or middle school, I think, when he first started writing poetry, because he definitely had been doing it for a while and had done some stuff for his youth group uh, at the, the church he went to. Not completely confirmed again, but it is what it is. Uh, and though I feed on things that fail, and that could be him talking about how he writes poetry about, you know, struggles or tough times in his life, you can learn to levitate with just a little help. You too can start creating your own kitchen sinks or your own, you know, pieces of art that help you to process things and feed on things that fail yourself. Notice that reference kind of to vultures, feeding on things that fail, feeding, vultures eat dead things, right? Uh, and then the chorus, this is probably the most confusing part, come down, come down, cowards only come through when the hour is late and everyone's asleep, mind you. Show up, show up, I know I shouldn't say this, but a curse from you is all that I would need right now. Come down, come down, it repeats the rest of that over again. And I'll be completely honest, I don't really know what's going on here, and I think that listening to the rest of the album is gonna shed light on this and give context to what he's talking about. Uh, he is talking about, you know, cowards, it's a theme that he's talked about in Ride. He asks, would he be brave enough? And he might be wanting people to speak up and to say something, rather than to, you know, speak up when everybody's asleep and not there to listen. So he might be calling on us to create our own art, or something like that. Uh, then we get into verse two. Danger in the fabric of this thing I made seems to be him talking about some of the, the dark themes in the music that he writes. I probably shouldn't show you, but it's way too late. Yeah, you're already listening to the song. Um, and then my heart has went through hiding, but my mind's not made. Um, a little bit confusing there, uh, but it seems like he's feels like he's done hiding what he has to say but his mind still isn't quite sure about making that final decision. Now they know blank for some time I'd say, maybe like they'd know for sure for some time I'd say, and then the next line is very unclear if you listen to it. Uh, they're circling above, which seems to be a reference to the vultures that we've seen in the art, but this is not enough. Yeah, this is not what you follow. No, no, we are not just graffiti on a passing train. Partially it seems to be a reference to vacuous empty lyrics or songs um, or just non interesting or helpful things that we just see one moment and they're gone and it might be interesting for a second but it doesn't really affect our lives. And so he's trying to say that this song is something. 
I got back what I once bought back in that slot I won't need to replace. Uh, and so that seems to be a clear reference to car radio, you know, um, re what he once bought in that slot and all that good stuff that I don't remember off the top of my head, sue me. Or, or please don't actually, that wouldn't be cool. But uh, so it's a clear reference to car radio. Um, he had lost his car radio. So when he says, I got back what I once bought back in that slot, I won't need to replace. You know, he had lost that entertainment that kept him from dealing with things that were real that he felt. And so maybe he's found distractions again and maybe that's a reference to the graffiti on a passing train. This culture is a vulture of overexposure. Not today. And I think that's him saying, the culture is trying to tear us apart and it wants to feed on these little things and it wants to, It's he might be talking kind of about a culture of celebrity drama or a culture that wants to just pick people apart and take the interesting things and leave the rest and kind of hurt the human overall. Uh, don't feed me to the vultures. I am a vulture who feeds on pain and he's feeding on his own pain as he writes song lyrics about it, but he doesn't want to be fed to the vultures of culture that would kind of just tear him apart and analyze him and dissect him maybe kind of like we're doing. Hopefully he knows that we're doing it in a respectful way. Uh, then we get into verse three. So in the blank room, it might be panic room or something like that. It seems to start with a P. Uh, Don't let the shadow through and sever all that I knew. Yeah, sever all I thought. I could defend all my weekends on the freezing ground that I'm sleeping on. Please keep me from, please keep me down from the ledges. So defending weekends freezing ground that he's sleeping on seems to be kind of a reference to maybe the banditos as they're fighting off the bishops and so he might be using a little bit of imagery from the lore to try to tell the story here uh, again probably will make more sense in context but keep me down from the ledges seems to be a reference to jumping to one's death and suicide um, because maybe his greatest enemy is himself uh, down, uh, better test it. Wooden wedges under doorways. Keep your wooden wedges under doors. Chorus, verse, chorus, verse. And so he transitions from talking about maybe like defending your room from somebody trying to get in into talking about songs again and, and talking about this chorus, verse, chorus, verse, this repetition that keeps coming and he's kind of describing the songs that he's writing himself uh, because he then says, now here comes the, and it seems to be the word end, but he says, wait, habits, blank, blah, 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 structure, blah, blah compensates, but compensation feels a lot like rising up to dominate my track. And so it could be that he's falling into habits. He could be talking about overusing certain kinds of structures uh, and how it kind of leads to him feeling like he dominates his track. Feels a lot like rising up to dominate my track. Um, so maybe he's talking about mixing up the structures and that makes him feel like he's dominating the track, unless dominating the track is a bad thing. Because I don't think Tyler is about dominating the track. I think he's about sharing something real and honest. Uh, he says to at least they all know all they hear comes from my place. And so he's saying that what I share is real and authentic to me. It's not made up or just some stupid story that I'm telling that has nothing to do with my real life. Uh, which is a sign of good art, by the way. Oh, I know how to levitate off my feet. And he goes back into what we heard in the pre-chorus. And there seems to be an outro piece that says, welcome to Trench. Theoretically, based on another track list that I saw that was also leaked, Levitate might be the second song on this album. So it would come right after Jumpsuit. So Jumpsuit would be kind of like the prologue. And then this would be kind of the introduction as he's self-referential to music itself and starts to have him talk about where he is with his own music as he prepares to give us the next installment of it. So a lot to talk about in this guys. And obviously I'm not an expert on this. Nobody is yet because this is just a brand new leaked song and we don't have the context and all that good stuff. We don't even have all the lyrics, but I would love to hear what you think about it. Um, don't forget to check out some of my other videos about the other songs from this album and the music videos. Uh, if you know anything about this song, comment it down below, check it out. And I think that that's it. Thanks for watching everybody. Talk to you next time.